for Psalm 144, okay? I'm going to go through verse 1 through 15, all right? Join me. It is, it is written, Blessed be the Lord my strength, which teacheth my hands to war and my fingers to fight, okay? Blessed be the Lord my strength, which teacheth my hands to war and my fingers to fight. Verse 2. My goodness, my fortress, my high tower, and my deliverer, my shield, and he in whom I trust, who subdueth my people under me. He's your goodness, okay? Your fortress, your high tower, and your deliverer. Our shield, okay? He's my shield. In him, okay, in God, we trust, who subdue my people under me. Verse 3, okay? It reads, Lord, what is man that thou takest knowledge of him, or the son of man that thou makest account of him? Verse 4, man is like to vanity. His days are as a shadow that passes away. So we know that our life here is temporary, okay, guys? Do not cling to things in the physical so much that you neglect the things that is unseen. You neglect the spiritual aspect of life, okay? That's where your life is derived from, is through Christ Jesus, okay? Without him, you have no good thing. That's the belief. <clears throat> Verse 5. It reads, Bow thy heavens, O Lord, and come down. Touch the mountains, and they shall smoke. Verse 6. It reads, Cast forth lightning and scatter them. Shoot out thine arrows and destroy them. Okay, verse 7. It reads, Send thine hand from above. Rid me and deliver me out of great waters from the hand of strange children. Okay, the Lord is the one who's going to deliver you. Okay, deliver you from great waters. Deliver you from whatever it is that you are going through that you think only you are going through you're not going through it alone okay others may not understand you others may not see you others may play deaf to your cries okay others may be numb to your pain but not God God he sees you for who you truly are he see your heart he know where you've been okay don't be ashamed of where you've been or who you were once upon a time. God got you covered, but it's you the one that's gonna have to keep on pushing forward and not give up, okay? Because the best is yet to come. The Lord is with you every step of the way you cannot give up. If I will give up all those times when things got tough and rough and looked like there was no way out, when I used to kick myself in the butt, I still do kick myself in the butt. I still feel, like, okay, this is good, okay? Do know that you will not ever know everything, okay? To be honest, you don't know nothing. Let's just put it that way. You don't know a thing. Who is the one we put our trust in the Lord? See, if you thinking today that you know it all, you think you know it all because of what you've been through, you don't have a clue to truly why you went through all the things you went through. You may think you have been dealt the most shittiest, shittiest hand, okay? You, you, you had to make do with what you was given. Well, praise the Lord, you are still here today. Praise the Lord, you are in better shape today. And if you don't think so, you're in better shape today. Take inventory of what you currently have today. And I'm not talking about tangible things like your car, your house. I'm talking about family, your health, okay? Because your health is your wealth, okay, guys? Your health, you can have no, all the money in the world. That cannot guarantee you health. You can have all the money in the world. That cannot guarantee you salvation. Not even a dollar, a dime, or a million bucks can give you true peace like Christ Jesus can, okay? <clears throat> so no matter what and who you think you are today, you need Jesus more than you realize, okay? 
So let's continue. Forgive me. Let's continue. Uh, right here, verse 8. It reads, Whose mouth speaketh vanity, and their right hand is a right hand of falsehood. Verse 9. I will sing a new song unto thee, O God, upon a, a psaltery and an instru instru instrument. Forgive me, <laughs> instrument. My. Of ten strings will I sing praises unto thee. Sing praises unto the Lord, okay? Sing praises unto the Lord in your heart. Vocalize it out. Lift your hands up. Get your eyes fixed on the Lord, okay, guys? It's not easy, okay? It's not easy. You have the ups and your downs. You have days where you like, you feel so good. You feel refreshed. And that's the God. That's God's grace. And there's going to feel days where you're going to just feel like, Lord, I feel like I'm on. I'm at the lowest of the lows. I I really feel like a shitty person today, Lord. I've been messing up after messing up. Kept putting my foot in my mouth. I kept saying the wrong things and doing the wrong things. But the Lord knows you're overwhelmed. Does the Lord want you to carry that with you? No, He wants you to cast it onto Him. He wants you to start trusting in Him. Hey, hey, hey. hey. Okay, forgive me. I had to pause it because I had some disturbances outside. Here. Kiki's playing and my dog's just going crazy. But anyways, give it to the Lord. He doesn't want you to carry it around with you because it will get what? Heavier and heavier and heavier. Envision yourself now, okay? Can you carry a gallon of water, okay? A gallon of water doesn't seem like much, okay? But the longer you hold on to it, and the farther you walk without putting it, sitting it down anywhere, okay? Without sitting it down, you have to hold on to this gallon of water. The longer you hold on to it, it starts to get heavier and heavier. Why? Because your arms are getting tired. You want to sit it down, okay? You want to sit it down. Can I imagine? Imagine you, you want to sit this gallon of water down. You want to sit it down. And you don't want to pick it back up. You want to what? Surrender it. You want to surrender it to the Lord. You want to give it to the Lord. Give the Lord all of it. Okay? Your thanksgiving, your praises, your song. Give Him all. Thank Him for everything that you have today. Okay? Be grateful for all that you are, who you are. Love yourself, okay? Tr ask the Lord for Him to grant you understanding and discernment and to help you love you the way He loves you, okay? He can do all those things. Don't put God in a box, okay? Don't put Jesus in a box because He can, the, he can outnumber the thoughts and the things that he can do for you that you are limited in yourself or doing because of your understanding and your thoughts is not about his ways and his thoughts he's above our thoughts and above our ways the lord can move in you ways that you wouldn't even know how to ask him for but just surrender your everything to him he will equip you <clears throat> excuse me the lord will equip you with all that you need okay the Lord is the one who sustains you, okay? All right. Um, okay, verse 10. It reads, It is he that giveth salvation unto kings, who delivereth David, his servant, from the hurtful sword. Okay? Wait, hand off. Hand off. Wait. Wait. Knock it off. I'm so sorry, guys. My dog is getting the kind. Oh, it's the Messiah over here. Yeah? So it is he that giveth salvation unto King, who delivered David, his servant, from the hurtful sword. Okay? And you have a sword as well. You have the sword of the Spirit. And what is the sword of the Spirit? The sword of the Spirit is the Word of God. And the word of God is what? The lamp to your feet. 
And not only in the love we feed, but the word of God is Jesus Christ in the flesh, who is the one who impaved that path your feet is on today. Praise God. Okay? Praise God. So verse 11, it reads, Rid me and deliver me from the hand of strange children whose mouth speaketh vanity, and their right hand is the right hand of falsehood. Okay? The Lord is your deliverer. Remember that. Verse 12. Hey! Knock it off. Forgive me. Knock it off. Everybody chillax. Okay? Okay, verse 12. Lila, knock it off. Come on, be good, baby. Relax. They get all excited. They were just outside playing. Okay, so verse 12. It reads, That our sons may be as plants, grown up in their youth, that our daughters may be as cornerstones polished after the similitude of a palace. Okay? The Lord has so much wonderful things in store for you, okay? Wonderful things. Praise God.